Hello everyone, welcome to the presentation of our work about deepfake eyes and gazes. In other words, where do deepfakes look? Synthetic face detection via gaze tracking. I'm Muaybaz Shifchi and this work is a collaboration with Dr. Demir. Since the conception of generative adversarial networks in 2014, their most believable results emerge in face domain, leading to deepfakes. Deepfakes are synthetic portrait videos of real humans, photorealistic enough to fool humans. Deepfakes are heavily exploited in domains like media, advertisement, and entertainment as positive use cases. Deepfakes succeeded in not only creating non-existing people, but also changing the age, pose, and race as seen on the bottom of the right, or swapping faces of us to Jason Momoa and Nicolas Cage as seen on the top right. Following up, Advancements in processing power and availability for generative approaches have reduced the required resources and skill level for realistic image manipulations, participating in the rise of the deepfake era. Although this technology has been developed with positive intent, it also attracted malicious users to exploit deepfakes for political misinformation, impersonation, forgery, and pornography. This threat to information integrity has consequences in privacy, law, politics, security, and policy thus possess a threat to form social erosion of trust. As a defense mechanism, researchers introduce several deepfake detection methods. These methods can be categorized in two main branches as image domain and biological domain, while the first one utilizes the saturation cues, compression artifacts, and color consistencies, whereas the second one exploits inconsistent head poses, blinks, face warping artifacts, blood flow, and biological signals. As the eyes are the mirror to the soul, we investigate the truth in the eyes of the deep face. Compared the real eyes to the fake ones, we observe that there are significant visual and spatial artifacts as shown here with four different generative approaches. These artifacts happen both between frames and between left and right eyes, also causing broken symmetries. In addition, anomalies occur in fake gaze behavior. Normal human gazes either converge in far or at distance, excluding some irregular eye conditions, of course. However, fake gazes show divergent or a completely off-plane behavior. Moreover, even if the direction is corrected, the continuum of 3D divergence point is broken. As fake gazes exhibit noise, missing paths, and demonstrate non-uniform distribution. In addition to the analysis of previous dimension features, we also evaluate the properties of temporal domain for fake and real videos. For example, real gazes cover more vertical and horizontal range than fake ones. On the other hand, fake gazes have shaking like noise, and fake irises can size differ by 30mm square and pupil sizes by 14mm square for the same person, whereas the real eye sizes are almost constant. Such signal properties are also discussed in the spectral domain. We formulate all these geometric, visual, metric, temporal, and spectral features to get to all eye and gaze related consistency and coherence measures together. Visual features include area of color of eyes, iris, and pupil. Geometric features include gaze vectors, virgins approximation and error, interpupillary distance, and misalignment. Metric features is obtained by cross-correlation of visual and geometric features, and temporal features cover visual and geometric features from all frames of a sequence. Finally, spectral features are the power spectrum of the temporal features. Then we create the gaze signatures with these features from different domains, by a size of 40 by omega by 3 as listed on the right. Looking closely to the signatures, some significant differences of real and fake videos are visible. For example, the power spectral density of areas of different parts of the eye to the frames are much colorful for fake eyes. Or cross-correlation or left and right gaze vectors are much uniform for the real ones. We feed the gaze signatures into a simple three-layer network, documented on the right. We have the comfort of training a simple network due to powerful representations we generate with gaze signatures. We train and test on equal number of real and fake sequences with a random 70-30 train and testing split. We refer to your paper for cross-validation experiments with different splits. Our eye gaze based fake deepfake detection algorithm achieves 99.27% accuracy on deeper forensics dataset and 92.48% accuracy on face forensics++ plus plus datasets. 
We note that if a deepfake generator calls out the eyes, all approach behaves like a random guess, as reflected in our face-to-face -face accuracy. We compare our results to a detection based uh, on 11 different fake detectors, utilizing either the complex deep neural networks or other biological features. And we observe that our approach overperforms almost all of them, except Heikage. We conduct ablation studies in order to evaluate the contribution of different feature spaces on their accuracy. We conclude that geometric features are more important and metric features contribute less. We also experimented with different sequence maps, finding out as the omega equal 32 as the ideal volume. Finally, we measured our robustness against post-processing operations. We discovered that features from different spaces balance each other. In example, higher resolution eyes enable geometric features and low resolution eyes enable visual features. On the bright side, all approaches 55 times more robust than fake catcher in this context, and all, while all detection only drops by 0.37% with a 9x9 ghost in blue, whereas fake catcher drops more than 20%. Finally, we compare our approach and fake catcher, observing that the failure cases are mostly mutually exclusive. We correctly classified fake video on the left and a real video on the right, whereas fake catcher fails in both due to physical or dynamic corruption that is on the skin. We propose an ensemble detection platform where such detection algorithm can be cascaded for complementing each other. To sum up, we demonstrate that the humans contain neural watermarks that can be exploited for deep fake detection. Eye and gaze features are such signals and formulated carefully we can achieve high detection accuracies on several datasets. For future, we would like to witness fake detection platforms combining multiple biological priors in ensemble algorithms. Thanks for listening to our talk. You can direct your questions right now, or you can always reach us from the information that's on the screen.